act acting in a particular way in response to a given stimulus, a response that is different from the natural one. Conditioning is a type of learned behaviour. Many domestic animals have been conditioned. Think about when you ask a pet dog to sit and then reward it with a treat. This is an example of conditioning. You can also condition animals not to behave in a certain way. For example, sheep can be conditioned to stay in a field by using an electric fence. The sheep learn that if they touch the fence, they get an unpleasant shock, so they're conditioned to stay away from it. The sheep even stay away from the fence when it isn't on. Ivan Pavlov is a famous scientist who performed experiments to try and condition animals. He researched classical conditioning. He provided dogs with a stimulus, which was the sound of a bell. Following the stimulus, the dog was then given food. After a number of days, the dog began to associate the stimulus with food. This meant that when the dog heard the bell, it reacted by producing more saliva, even before the food was brought in, because it was expecting to be fed. A dog salivating when it hears a bell is not a natural response. It is a conditioned response, and the dog has learned to do so. Skinner is another famous scientist who researched operant conditioning, which is where individuals learn from reward as a result of trial and error. Skinner's box contained a rat, and when the rat pushed a lever, it received food. The rat learned to pull the lever, showing it was learning from trial and error. It was carrying out a behaviour because it meant something good would happen. Conditioned behaviour can be either positively or negatively reinforced. Positive reinforcement is where the desired behaviours are awarded. And negative reinforcement is where incorrect behaviours are punished. Classical conditioning and operant conditioning are both examples of associative learning because a subject responds to a stimulus previously not associated and this leads to reward.